So the White House press secretary doesn't, despite the title, exist to convey information, but to withhold it. And in this White House, the press secretary bans any reporter who asks real questions. And that includes, and it especially includes, a man called Simon Atiba. Simon Atiba is the most famous and we would say finest reporter in all Africa. And that means that Karine Jean-Pierre does not want to talk to him at all. She hasn't called on him in more than four months. Now the White House says that Karine Jean-Pierre will not meet with Simon Atiba until next year, which of course means never. Simon Atiba is with Today News Africa. He joins us tonight. Simon, thank you so much for coming on. So on what grounds will she just not meet with you? <clears throat> First of all, thank you for having me talk uh, on your show. It's the most watched show, and I'm always glad to be here. You. You, you know, as the voice of Africa in the U.S., I love the U.S. I always love freedom. I love democracy. And even if you paid me $100 million to move to China, I will not move to China. I would like to be in the U.S. Because the ideals of the U.S. is the ideals, you know, the, those are the things that I love and those are the things that most Africans also love. I feel like Karine Jean-Pierre, she has no clue what is happening in Africa. She doesn't understand that China is expanding and also spreading disinformation and misinformation against the U.S., that they are competing against the U.S. Competition is good, but then when competition comes with destroying democracy, and that becomes a problem. And she doesn't know that. That's why she discriminates against me. She's not called on me for the past four months. And so last week, I tried to meet with her. She told me she will not meet with me until 2024, maybe. I wonder if if it's the case that she doesn't call on you because she doesn't want to hear about Chinese influence in Africa. Yes, I, I feel like she doesn't take serious questions. She wants to have uh, questions that she she's received in advance. She doesn't want. I ask tough questions. I ask tough questions. I I may ask her about you know many things that happen in Africa, including immigration, for instance. How yes. does it make sense that Africans who are here, for instance, who came legally, apply for asylum legally, have to wait for six years for their cases to even be heard? Uh, and, and their cases are not heard after six months, but they see people crossing, just walking across the border, and then they have all the benefit the next day. How is that fair to Africans? Well, that uh, seems like a completely reasonable question, and you have the authority to ask it. Simon Atiba, we are rooting for you in the White House briefing room. We hope they'll change their minds and stop what they're doing. But in the meantime, you always have a place here on the show. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.